Hello everyone! So I have a fun little process video for you today. This is for my uh, design team for Scrapping Wonders, which is the Traveler's Notebook inserts. And what I'm going to do today is I'm going to use some Distress Inks in my Traveler's Notebook, and I'm also going to use some Project Life cards. Uh, so if you watch my videos, I'll let you know that I don't um, do Project Life with Project Life cards. Um, but I love them, and I have lots of them, so I pulled a couple from my uh, the core kit that I have. So I have about a third, I have a third of the Knack core kit, which is one of the newer ones. Um, and uh, because I love the colors, those colors are gorgeous. The colors in the kit are gorgeous. The icons are super sweet and fun. So I decided to do a little bit of Distress Ink on my background. I'm using Abandoned Coral Fossilized Amber. And I wanna say that's Broken China. And I'm just going to use this chevron stencil from Hero Arts. And I'm going to just put down some fun um, Distress Ink. So I'm going to mix. I want the yellow and the coral to kind of blend in together. And then I'm going to do the Broken China down through the middle. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use some of these Project Life cards. What I did was, I'm going to clean my stencil first. So what I did was, was I pulled from the NAC core kit, I pulled some cards that I wanted to do my listing on. And then I also pulled some cards that I wanted to do some fussy cutting on. So I'm going to start with my lists. And um, so I decided that, um, as I've stated before, this whole traveler's notebook is based on the lists from the Reset Girl for June. And I... I'm not doing a list today. I'm behind. I'm so far behind. I'm just creating with these lists. I'm using these lists as journaling prompts and jumping off points and just going with that. But I do want to put when I totally finished with all of the um, lists, I do want to put a principle in the front uh, with all the different lists listed that are included in the traveler's notebook. So because of that, I feel the need to put the date for the list so it would be a date in June um, but I've started now dating below that with the date that I'm actually making the list so we have two dates and I don't think that's going to be very confusing I think when we when I totally finish the traveler's notebook you will understand why there are two dates on each day and I, I don't think it will be confusing but I will definitely at the end when I finished it post a flip through so that you guys can see how I set it up and how um, how it works, like if you want to find a specific list or you know, something like that. So I like to put the titles of the list on my pages also. And what I did for this particular layout was I grabbed my favorite October afternoon white storybook letter stickers. And I'm doing white on white. So these two lists were both quite long. There was, they both were very wordy, wordy lists. Like not the lists themselves, but the titles of the list were very wordy and for me to be able to get I didn't want I didn't want the Traveler's Notebook pages to look crowded I didn't want them to look over full I didn't want them to look you know really jumbled up or busy so by doing the lit the names of the lists in white on white when you look at the Traveler's Notebook spread you can read what I'm writing what the list is about but um the white on white letters give it a light feel so that the so that the pages aren't super duper busy. And I do, even in my scrapbooking, I do white on white quite a bit because I do find it to be um, a really nice change of pace. And so I'm just using those storybook letters and I'm going to go ahead and add uh, the titles for both of my lists. And then I'm going to get to work on some em embellishments. So these are the Project Life cards that I pulled out that I wanted to use the images from and the elements. So I'm going to go ahead and fussy cut um, some cameras, and I'm going to fussy cut that roller skate, because really, I don't know that I'll ever have a scrapbook page or a pocket page layout that will need a roller skate, but I love the roller skate. So, so cute. And I love these colors. I just love this core kit so much. I just love the elements and the icons and the colors. It's so pretty. Uh, so I definitely wanted want to use it. I want to use it while I still love it. So this is my way of, of using some of it here. And I'm thinking, um, I actually have some, uh, pages that I want to scrapbook that have these, um, you know, that would look perfect with these colors. So I'm thinking about doing a scrapbook page where I fussy cut all of the embellishments, 
uh, for the scrapbook page from these Project Life cards as well, and maybe even use them as layering pieces. So that would be a super fun um, idea, and maybe we'll do that. I'll do a video for that this month. So I'm just going to go ahead and place these things around. I also grabbed... Um, some pencils because I thought that you know this is a listing traveler's notebook and I'm making a list so let's use some pencils and I'm just embellishing I'm tucking them around my lists and around my titles or around my yeah around my titles and just getting things the way that I like it so I'm gonna fussy cut this one last camera for a pop of pink up there in the corner and then I'm gonna work on these bows. Oh, these bows. This is my favorite card. This is my favorite all-time Amaze card. I love it. I love all these bows. You guys are so, so cute. So I'm gonna cut three and yes, I kept the Project Life card and yes, I fully intend to uh, fussy cut more bows from it until there are no more bows on that card because <laughs> they're ridiculous cute. Oh my goodness, they're adorable. So I went ahead and fussy cut all my cute, adorable, fabulous bows and I'm gonna get them on my page. And that's pretty much it for this one. So this came together really nice and easily. The hardest part was fussy cutting. Um, the Distress Ink dries quickly, doesn't bleed, doesn't need anything extra, easy to put through a stencil. Um, so if you're like me and you have a you know, bumper crop of Project Life cards, this is a really fun, easy way to incorporate them into your scrapbook layouts or your traveler's notebook layouts. And of course, always that 3x4 book card could be photos. So have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye!